Hello, once more again, welcome. I welcome you back to what? To my series of high probability trading in the binary options. This is A1 Trader FX, the only A1 revenue who is ready to help you. People who are struggling trading in the binary options. This has been a challenging. This has been also my challenge from the beginning until I discovered this. Then trading binary option become very easy for me. What we are trying to do here in this series of five videos is trying to give you the high probability trading in binary options where you can be able to see the market differently. The way people used to teach you is just go to hourly time frame, go, go to one minute time frame, mark your levels and start trading. They're not telling you the truth. I'm telling you they're not telling you the truth. What you need is just one hour candle is enough for you. Just one hour candle is enough for you in binary option. Each day, one hour candle is enough for you. The first pattern I have I taught you is taking the pullback trade. We are looking at the market that has already what, broke a low. I forgot to tell you one thing again, and I want to share it on your video on the class also. There is the second pattern for the pullback is that the market has already broken a low like this. Remember, we are away from this low. We have moved far away from this. We bounce off, rejected, come back without taking out this low. Then we form the similar pattern that I show you about the rejection candle. I forgot to tell you that you can also use an engulfing candle. If the market, the last candle that close is a bullish, is a bearish candle. Remember my engulfing. I told you the engulfing that I want to see is very close to the opening of the bearish candle. So, I'm so when we have this, I forgot to teach you that one. Something like this, we are already away from this then we have something like this. The fellow swing. We just two, one or two bearish candle, not more than two bearish candle. Then we have a bullish. Then we are just looking for one hourly candle just above this one. We are trying. What I'm trying to say is that we are looking, we want to know where price is going. What is important, remember, is in trading is knowing where price is going. When you know where price is going, then you can go there and know when to enter. Then you are good to go. So let's look at the live chart. Remember I say, if you do not understand something, feel free to comment on below this video. Tell me what you do not understand. You can even reach out to me using my WhatsApp number below this video and i can give you i my goal is for you to understand this pattern i know if you can understand this pattern then you will be unstoppable we are looking for only one hour that means what 61 minute candles 61 minute candles inside of that 61 minute candles you're looking for only few candles i'm going to give you also the 15 minutes i'm going to also up do a series of 15 minute what similar pattern, but on side what 15 minute candles, 15 minute chart, time frame chart. I'm also going to do that one for you. That would be another series of what five videos in total. We are going to have 10 series of binary option. The key to unlocking your success in what in this market. So basically. Remember, that one I show you is a rejection candle. I'm going to also teach you. I have three patterns that I trade. The engulfing and then the rejection candle. So this one is the rejection candle pattern I'm teaching you today, which is the hammer. Oh, 
the pin, but I like the hammer 90% of the time. The hammer. So after teaching you the hammer, if you like, if, if you don't, if you're not a trader that trade hammer, you hit me on and I will teach you that of the engulfing pattern. But let's concentrate on the hammer candle. Now, if you if you're trading the engulfing candle pattern, if you basically understand the engulfing. We have also the star, but this is the ones that I wanted to teach you also. So let's concentrate on these ones. And then I have every pattern that you see in the market is how to trade them. But today we are going to deal with the hammer pattern. Let's start. Okay. Now remember I say, you when you open your chart, you go, you turn all your time frame to what? To hourly time frame. After you turn them to hourly time frame, you're going to search through your chart. Whether you're trading, this one is OTC market. Whether you're trading the OTC market, whether you're trading whichever the market you're trading, what matters is the patterns. I don't know. If I open my chart, I don't know which one I'm going to have because you either have a market that is consolidating because we have three types of market. We have a market that is consolidating, then a market that is trending. So we are looking for a market that is trending. A market that is trending is we want to see a clean candles breaking highs or clean candles breaking lows. So that is all what we need. Full body candles, they are breaking lows. Clean bodies, they are breaking. With that, weeks up, weeks down, weeks up, weeks down, like this one. This is a very bad market. You see, they are not even crossing above the highs. This one also, also here is a bad market. So we want to see a market that is trending clear. Okay, now I open this market. I found this market like this. This is the first market I open. Euro USD. I found this market like this. This one doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I will shift to other another chart. Now I'm come to seeing of it. This one here, you can see that presently what is happening, guys. We are breaking what. You see, this one is the continuation bearish pattern. So we have break a low. This is a low that was broken. And then we, we created what? We created a low. Now we have rejected. Remember I say in a down close, this is a downtrend. We want to see the last candle should be what? Should be bearish. For bullish one, we like to see the last candle should not like this one. Like to see the bullish candle should be the one that created the high, and that is high probability for a buy. Now this one is trending down now. So what we are, what is important for us is this last, after this rejection candle, we like to see that the candle close. I like to see that this rejection candle, hammer. This, this is a shooting star. Hammer in the downtrend is a shooting star. So you like to see that the market closes below. The previous candles high. I like it even the previous candle close. If it is a bearish candle, you should close below the previous candle. This one open. This is the last candle. We like to we like to see the body close below the open. This is high probability. But even in this case, that this is a bearish, it's a bullish candle. You see it close below what the previous candles high. Now look at it that assuming we want to trade this, this is our next our candle that we are going to trade. This one, not the one that is going, you know, even you can even if you miss that one, you can even trade this one as long as we have not tested the low. Remember, I say when we created a low in a downtrend, we have broken already a low, we created a low again, we retest, we are coming. So there is 70% that this low will be retested. Okay, now imagining we are looking for similar patterns again. We go to lower time frame, like one minute time frame now. Say we want to trade the one minute time frame. We are going there and looking for what? Looking for a market that will create a low, come back and retest a low in the downtrend. See, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Look at it, guys. Look at it, guys. Look at it from here. Look at it from here. I don't know where this, where is the rejection happening? And this is this is where the hourly candle open. This is the hour, and this is the second hour. 
using this time time timeline i'm using the timeline this is nine this is nine so look at it this market up it goes up see this is our first trade now we saw what remember i said i like to see a rejection a rejection that is what a rejection that is bearish even this one works but i like the one that is bearish look at it the next candle will drop as easy as it could be now when it drop we wait for wait for another market to what to pull back again when the market pull back again remember what i said i we want to see what we want to see i'm going to teach you something also we want to see a market that what create a low again the bearish candle is supposed to be the lowest one. But when you see this one, is a bullish candle that create, that was the lowest one. So this is not prob high probable. This one also, this one also is the, the low was created by what? By a bearish candle, which is low probable. But still, this one works. What all this one felt? But this one works. Using, now we see this one that the low was created by what? Was created by the bullish candle. When we see the hammer, look at it, how this one works. Again, you can see here, this one, the low was created what, by what? But a bearish candle. And then you see this one what works. All what we want to see is the low created by what? A bullish, bearish candle. You can see this low also was created by what? By a bearish candle. And then remember I say, I'm not looking for a wiki candle. I'm looking for what? A hammer. This one is an engulfing here, engulfing here what works. So basically, I'm trying to teach you that of the hammer, I will teach you that of the engulfing. We're also having a market now also. We're waiting for a market to create a low, then a hammer present itself. Now you can see here we have a hammer here after a long run, which I don't like to see a long run like this. Market opens. A hammer. This is what you see. Market just trend down. Da, 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 da. So you can see how high probable this trend was using the hammer. Okay, let's say okay. We are taking all the hammers that we see in the market. We are taking all the hammers that we see in the market. How many? How is going to be our rate win rate? Okay, let me just calculate. I don't know, but let me calculate. For instance, this is. On this guy to go okay for instance this is all the hammers we are seeing this is win this also win rejection candles but this one here signal fell this signal here what this one rejection candle win this one also is a rejection candle it wins this is a star, so I don't like the star. This is not, it is a stars. This is an engulfing. We are looking only for rejection candle. So a star. So we're looking for, an. you can see this one win. This is also, this is not also a hammer because it is inside of this range. So we are coming down. We saw another, this one here. Assuming we also take this one. We lost this one. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to this one. We are trending down. We are trending down. We have a good hammer here. We take this one and we win. Okay, let's wait to see whether we may have a hammer here to trade. This is a current market. Or if I see my engulfing, I will enter a trade right here. Let me see. Do I have anything on this account? Okay. So, okay, while I wait for this one, let me go to the other market. So this is what also the hourly time frame. So in this market, we are looking for what? For a market that is, I'm assuming I opened this market, I found it like this. This market is low probability because we are not breaking highs. We are rejecting highs and rejecting rows. So this is, there's no probability here. You go to the next market. 
So this one market now here, yeah, this market is a trendy market. You can see clean candles are breaking highs, clean candles. So what I'm doing for, I'm waiting for a market that will drop from a low here yeah, with the rejection candle then right like this one. Market was dropping. It formed an engulfing pattern. Remember I say, I will teach you that of the engulfing. You see how market rally. So we are looking for, this is the type of market you need to trade, not this one. Market is ranging, is going up and down weeks. All of, you can see even all the candles have weeks on both sides of the market. You can see this one is clean because, okay, this one is the engulfing candle. So, but it's trying to close almost back to the, to, okay now. Assuming we want to use this engulfing, this is, let me see how the engulfing is going to close. Just to close below the opening of this candle. I want to see. It closed exactly at the opening, so it's not a good trade. I'd like to see it close below the opening. You can see it close at the what at the opening, so it's not an engulfing. So I'll wait for another opportunity when it unfolds. So you can see that this market is messy. But look at this one. It's clean. Also, this one is messy because we're seeing candles are going back and forth. So, okay, let's see whether we can have it on the previous price action, whether we may have a clean market. Okay, you can see this one. This one looks a little bit cleaner from here. We are looking for a market that has, what, that has broke a high. So this one, there's no opportunity to even take the trade. Okay, this is this one also is a clean market, clean market. Okay, this is the pullback strategy I'm taking about. You can see that we've broke a low here. A reversal or a pullback strategy. We are looking for a market that has broke a low like this. When the market broke a low, what happened to the low? What happened after the market broke the low? This is what we want to see. What happened? We watch the candles. We're looking for one. You can see that this high and the high of this candle here, there is what there is a gap. That is what I'm talking about. This is the candle that break the low. And this is what there is a gap. And now when this candle sweep this low and close back, you can see that there's no gap between this candle because we are looking at the one that has the gap and then the one that we sweep so we want to see that there's no gap between them so when this one close you can see what we have three hours of bullish run assuming you're here in this market to trade for three hours you can see how profitable this trade will be okay now you can see that this is how the pullback trade is going to be taking the market waiting for a market to run because this run here is a kind of exhaustion so we need to see a pull but when market has exhausted at least three to four down close candle like this below a low there is more likely that we're going to have a retracement so this one is the continuation we saw a rejection you can see that you can see that these guys they are equal here so the bullish and the bearish are equal. So this is a high probability that this one is going to go. Not like the other one that we are sweeping the high of the bullish candle. I like it that even the, the highest candle is a long body candle like this. I like it. The high of the, that we're going to trade through is this one. So it's going to be a high probability like this one. This is, this is, this is, this is, the low was formed with this one. We like to see that the low was with a long body candle. The, this low that formed was a long bearish candle. Then the pullback is going to be easy because that's created a range that we are going to walk through. This is the essence. This market is clean also. This market what is clean. But we can see that this market here does not give us the pullback we are talking about. There's no bullish candle that weak below this one and then start rallying. Even though we have the bearish, you see this hourly candle also what go back to what to the gap, but you can see it give us also what an opportunity because we have one hour of rally to this. If we want to take like five minutes out of this, we're going to have trades to trade because 
this one is a we're taking it from a far distance and that's where i do not suggest we should go to okay like this is this is this is what i was saying but this one is it what that's already rally i think even the next one hour is about to open so this is a star remember there's difference between a star and a hammer so this is a star and then we have already on the hourly time one minute time frame of already broke what broke a high so we have change train the train has already changed on the lower time frame so this one taking a sell here is not probable we may even give the market the opportunity to break a low on the hourly time frame remember i say the next video will be about entry but here we are looking for the patterns on the hourly time frame so let's check the patterns on the hourly time frame again this market also is there's one i say that is clean let me check the other one so when you're looking for the market Choosing a market is very, very important. Look at this one, a trending market. The candles, you need to see from the candles, the candles here are clean. When this engulfing happened without reaching to this, you see how the next hour, you can get in there and participate. And also, you can see also after this engulfing, you can see that this one also what, was a bullish candle. Why was a bullish candle? Because of the engulfing pattern. I'm talking about the engulfing, I'll teach you. Imagine taking some few minutes from this candle, you, you can see the market rally, right? Before dropping. So there's some minute that you may participate inside this one. Maybe it may be a 30 minute up and a 30 minute down. So you may, out of that 30 minute, you may have something. Because the market is clean, it go back again, complete the retracement. Because this one is a halfway retracement. We like to see it to this level. So I'll teach you how to, how to measure retracement also. So this is the, the, the biggest, you can see this retracement is even above the previous side. So it's low probable. So we like to see a retracement down into the, the range that was broken. So after this one, look at how price keep going up to this side. Remember also this one came in. See the engulfing also provide. So we want to see a market that is clean like this. When you see a market that is clean, this one also is a market that is clean, that is dropping clean candles. We have already broken below this low. Look at the pattern I just showed you. Look at it. We need to see what? One, two, three, down close candle. Remember I say a minimum of three down close candle. Below an all low. Below a low that was broken. Then when you see this rejection back, without, this one left a gap, without leaving a gap, this high, it will be what? High probability that the next hour we are going to go up. Similarly, let me see whether we can have another one. Okay. So you can see that this one left a gap. That's why I say I don't like to see market leaving a gap. So when there's no gap, that's high probability. Look at the bullish trend. What? We came in, we form, we break a high. We come up and form what? And form support. We rally. We come on form support. And this one rally is too much. The strength is too much that even give you don't didn't even give opportunity. Guys, this is this is a new way to see the market. A very good way to see the market. Look and see that this is a low, but you can see what we didn't have a minimum of three candles going down. We didn't have. Look at it also. So you need you need to see every trading strategy has or has some rules to follow, because when we are breaking loss and sustaining below the lows, look at this one. This is what I'm saying. You have one, two, three. We have almost a three, three to four down close candle below this low, the low that was broken. Look at this one. This one closed the gap. This is a high. You can see the rally. So this is this is a very good way to trade pullbacks. You can see this low, you mark it. You can see the momentum below it. When we engulf. The candle. This is an engulfing. I have not teach you the engulfing. I will teach you the engulfing also. When, when we finish the series of this video, I'm going to teach you the engulfing. But I'm going to teach only those who have participated in this one because we don't give information. You have not finished chopping, chewing one information. I will give you another one. We don't do that. Where we respect our time. If you respect what we are giving you, we will give you more. But when you do not respect what we are giving you, we can't give you any more. You can see the second pattern I'm talking about. This low, we are far away from the low. We came in from what? Support. The market rally. Below, 
we are forming support, not just rejection one, but we reject one double bottom below this low. Forming a fellow swing, you can see how the market rally. So this is how these things are easy to trade. This is how you can see the patterns and replicate. You can see the patterns and replicate. You can see the patterns and replicate, but what you're looking for first in the market is you check for a clean market. Remember I, what I did? I just go to the market. So I look, I'm looking, this market is trying to be good now. So just check the market, which one is cleaner? Which one has a trending push? Which one has a trending push? This is the one you want to trade. And this is the one you're going to trade because when the, mark, when the candles are clean like this, there is high probability the next candle will be clean with that restriction. But if the market is choppy, it's back and forth. There is high probability that the market will be going up and down. You can see if the, these previous candles are back and forth. If the market rejected, you can see there's high probability that the next one will be going up and down. But look at this. When this candle was clean like this, the probability that this one is going to go clean also up is what is probable. So assuming I'm going to the one minute time frame to trade this one. Assuming I'm going to into the one minute time frame to trade this one. Where is the hour open? This is the opens of the hour. Look at this one. We pull back at least two candles. Remember I say my pullback is normally at least two candles because it's going to give me a range high to target. After the engulfing, a nice trade. This one, we have a high here. The high is here, at least two candles down. You see lower, low, lower, low. So then the market from an engulfing, then it rallies. At least two, two candles down. So we need to have a minimum of, so that it will give us a range. The meaning for that, at least two, because if the market up, it must create a high, giving us a range to walk through. But when we don't have, like, we have something, one candle, say, one engulfing can just close the high. So that is what I say, at least two candles, because it's going to give us a range to target. So when we have this engulfing also, you can see it's easy to trade this market. But look at this one. Okay, this one will also have what, a range because the candle close and give us a range to enter. But where we do not have a range, we don't have a range to target. Like a one candle then, similarly, you can see this one also. This when the next candle kind of close, giving us a range, the next one will go up. But when the one that we don't have a range, for instance, this one, the range is not clear. So I don't like one candle range because the two candle range will give you opportunity to, to walk through into the market. Like this is what I'm talking about. This one, the pullback with one candle can see is very choppy. Cannot give you opportunity to enter. You can see all one candle pullback is not high probability. But when you have a pullback with at least two candles, you can see the momentum is clean. At least two candles. When you see rejections, you can see the movement is always clean. At least two candles, you can see you have opportunity to walk through. So basically, this video I spent so much time. What I want, I want you to understand in this video is that you need to understand the pattern. How do we choose the pattern on a chart? First pattern, the pullback pattern, we need to see a market that break below a low. And then we weak and close above the previous candle with a good body. I like to see the candle, the last candle that we have a bullish one. This last bearish candle will be a clean candle with clean body. Then we reject and close back into the range. We have the high of this candle. There is a gap between it and the low of the candle. So this is going to give us a high probability that we're going to rally. The next hour is going to go up. Then we walk through inside the hour. We go into the one minute time frame looking for opportunity to leverage. Then we have the second pullback trade. Where we are below, we form a swing claw. Then we go up. Our aim is not even to go above, but this high. When we have this one like this, this high probability that this, the next two hours or three hours will go up to this high, then you are done for the day. Remember, you have a, an hourly candle with what? 
61 minute candle. So you have 60 minute, 60 candles to trade, 60, 40, 60 opportunities. I don't know which one, which of them is going to work for you. You have 60 chance of. If you want to trade the M5, you have what? 12 chance to trade the 60 minute. 12 chance is not small. Let me give you something here. Going to the five minute time frame. Oh, sorry. I choose the five second. Going into the five minute time frame. Looking at the time, time zone. Looking at the time zone. This is the new hour. So this is, I'm looking for the new hour. Okay, this is the 10th to the 11th. Remember, you can see this on the five minute, the pattern even look more cleaner, less noise. You can see what? We broke the high. You see the pullback, rejection candle. A win. We went for the market to pull back. This one did not took out this low. So this one is on its snake. Look at a clean opportunity here also. Assuming this one is closing here. Do we have the rejection from below? If I have a rejection from below, then assuming this one closing, I will leverage on this one also, on the five minutes. So you can see how easy this one will look also. Trading the last, I think, where is the, the other one that I showed you before? This one also. Assuming we want to trade the five minutes downtrend. The five minute downtrend that just occur here. Let me go to the hourly and choose. Which was the one that I was talking about. I think there is one that I was talking about. Okay, it's this one. Assuming we go to the five minutes and trade. This is the first one. Look at it. Look at it. Look at how easy this one will be, my brothers. The rejection candle, the hammer. Talk about we're talking about what? The compounding interest. You put in here. Then you wait for the market to pull back again. This is a pullback. But this come this this is the rejection candle. You get in here, you win. Assuming this is also. Assuming this is also, this is also a trade chip. Assuming this is the engulfing, we go down, go up, and from what, and engulfing. So look at how this market is going to portray. This is engulfing. This one is going to close bearish cut. I'm seeing high probability if this one. If this one is going to follow, it's going to close as a down close candle. So basically, this is how the market is moving. What you can see, even is what is clean because the hourly is clean. The five minute also is what is clean. I think this will form the end of this video. I don't want to be taking much of your time so that you have interest in watching. If you have something that you didn't, you do not understand. If you have any question that you do not understand, you can please. Comment on this video, ask, and then we, we will give the, the goal of this video, five series of this video is for you to understand this pattern. Go back into the market and keep withdrawing. This is the goal. You don't need to stay so much in the market. Few minutes in the market is enough. Just take one hour in a day is enough in the market and search for the high probability trade. Assuming in this one hour, the only opportunity we have is we have one, two, Three. I don't like this one. This one is a sir. Three. Then the fourth. You can see that the last five minute can close was as a bearish because I remember I know that this is an engulfing and then I already have the rejection from this opening. So that's why I said this one is going to close bearish and you can see as what well, has closed as bearish as I've said. So that is just that. If you understand the market, why did I say it's going to close bearish? Because the market, the trend is down. We have this engulfing candle, this rejection, this opening rejection that has already rejected from this and start pulling down is a sign that this candle is going to close what down. And as I commanded it, and you see that's exactly what is going to happen. So because the hourly is going down, this five minute rejection will suggest that the market is going to fall. And also 
if this hourly candle will close down also as a down close candle, then this five minute also after this rejection is going to pull down and close. Even we may have at least two candles before we reach this low. We have a good range to trade from. That's why I say I like a pullback like this because it's going to give me range to walk through. If I miss this one, I may not miss this one. I may not miss the other one because I have a range to walk through. When market create a low in a higher time frame, in, 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 when a market create a low in a trending market, there is 70% chance that the market is going to test the, the low. So you can walk through, take your first compounding, you do another compounding again, you do another compounding again, before you realize you have what? Three compounding trade. Let's say, say this is our first compounding, we enter with $1, like this is 1K, we, we double the stake, enter again, we double the stake, also what? Enter down again. Remember what I'm doing, that I am not trading when the market has already hit the low that was created. I did not say after this one, I will enter because we have already hit a low. Remember, I'm always, all the signal I show you, I was looking, I'm always looking at the low that will be testing. When the low is tested, we need a pullback again. You can see that this one here tests a low. This is why I say I did not take, I did not say that I'm taking a take this trade, another down cross. Look at this one also. So this one has already what? Test the low. But when you look at this bearish candle, does not take a has to touch this low. So this is why this one is probable. Look at these candles that are forming here. They have not tested this low. This is why this trade were what probable. So when you're trading, you need to know where market has. Most you can see the engulfing that is dropping. I told you that this one is going to go down, down, down until it reaches this low. Then the probability of next candle going up is going to what is going to the next candle going down is going to drop unless we reach this low. This is when selling will become low prob probability. But as long as we are within this range, we have this backup. We call it the back backdrop. So this backdrop now is telling us the momentum is down. So when we have a resistance has formed, we need we will see the market is going to go down, down, down. I think I can take another trade also. When this one close. I'll give you so that you guys should understand what I mean. When this one close down again, we may expect that the next candle will go down also. It is not magic, guys. This is not magic, guys. This is just pure price action. This is not magic, guys. This is just pure price action. It's not magic. It's just pure price action. So this is not magic. This is just pure price action. Understanding the higher time frame and trading inside what? The lower time frame. So when you understand what the higher time frame is suggesting, you can go in and trade what? The lower time frame. This one is going to drop until it reach this low. You can see the momentum. Until then, until... This, the next video will be on what? On the confirmation. How to use the lower time frame I enter. See this video, I taught you how to do what? How to, the first video was about what? The first video is about how to use, how to see the pattern, a presentation on the pattern. The second video now, this one is about what? How to go into your chart. Look for which PA to trade that is in line with a successful day trend, a trend, a trend in market. Clean candles, market that is breaking loss with clean candles and breaking highs with clean candles. Then, then going into the lower time frame is the next this the next discussion. How to use the lower time frame and enter the market. Then this one, but I need to see your reaction. The more you show participation, the more I will ex. I will do the next series for 15 minutes series. The 15 minute candle series also, I'm going to show you that one. But I need to see next video. Please come back next time and watch the next video. You can see this last candle also, close bearish. I told you it must close bearish candle. And this one that is going up is going to go back down and close as a bearish candle. This is just the logic. We have a low to target. So that's why I say, first thing in trading you need to know is where is price going? 
when you get a 70% that price is going down, the majority of things is when to enter. When you have a rejection that is pending, that is the rejection is pointing to where price is going, then the market is going to be at your favor. We have where price is going from the higher time frame, saying we are going down. Then we have the rejection pointing down, giving us all trade in our directions. This is basically what I explained in the beginning. Majority of your time you should spend on knowing where price is going on the higher time frame. Then going into the lower time frame and making the money, printing the money. Waiting for the rejection in the direction of what where price is going, then you can make your money count. No matter how it's going up, it's going to go down. Majority, 70%, I said what is going to reach this low before going up. It will not just reverse from here and start going up, 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 up like this, until, unless the market is about to reverse. Then this is only when you're going to have this one. All this one is testing the high to drop lower. So until the next video, Stay calm and stay put. Enjoy the rest of the time with your family. Goodbye.